Hello guys and welcome back to some more World of Tanks. These are the last three plays I did while trying to get the Brask, uh, so the tier 10 games. Um, first game is in the V4 202, um, British tier 10, medium heavy, uh, um, medium heavy, uh, medium um, British tank. Um, and yeah, it's a good tank, it is a good tank. Like, like I said, uh, I do not use my tier 10s enough you know i took all this time to go up and i just I just don't play them um obviously i'm trying to get to like a certain amount of silver um now i had to dig into my silver to buy some tier tens um and uh equipment for um premium tanks that i recently got so i'm trying to restore my silver count so i will not be playing tier 10 you won't be seeing too many tier 10 replays for a while um as i'm playing tier premium tanks to try to get back my back my silver um i've stopped here i normally go all the way down to the j line um the j um j zero kind of area uh to fight on this flank um but uh none of my allies have bothered going that way so we are not going to go down there on our own um looks like a good is on this uh, on the one two three line uh, so hopefully that the majority of the enemy, enemy team is up there because obviously if they go the zero, the nine zero line, we could be pretty screwed, right? Uh, but we're gonna get try to get side shots on. Um, obviously light tanks are a big old pain. I should get a lovely show into the back of that guy. Uh, it would have been nice to have um, hash loaded, but there you go. Uh, yeah, we've I, looking at um, well, I was just. Doing some replays uh, of the last video. Doing, um, I've been re recorded two in a, in a row, and I was going out in the back chat, and it's got like very few shells in it. This has got so many shells, and this guy's just yoloing to try to get out the um, artillery, which is fair enough. I hate artillery, but that's one artillery down. We have been targeted by something. I don't think we can get. Spotted and and obviously that's why I'm wondering wondering whether yeah am I getting aimed at by artillery? So we're gonna get as close to this rock as possible, um, and we actually got spotted up there. We're gonna take take a risk and go out there, and then we realise that their other light tank is kind of yoloing in. Um, so yeah, don't know why they just kind of threw their their team's game there by throwing away two two of their light tanks. We take out that guy um, who was pushing across the hill there. Unfortunately for him, um, managed to put a lovely shell into that guy and track him. Uh, but I don't. And we <laughs> he does actually get hit. He gets hit, um, but he gets a lovely chunk of his health taken out uh, as he was tracked. Um, an object 7-7 seven, seven there, hitting the track and done damage to him as well. Uh, these guys are in quite a good position for me to repeatedly get shots on them. Um, yeah, so the enemy team has not gone the 9-0 line by the looks of things. Um, so yeah, they're, they're doomed pretty much. The fact they have not uh, spread out. Um, if they had gone the 9 zero line, we would have definitely lost this game, but they didn't. They all went one way. We've all gone one way. Uh, not the best strategy, but we've, uh, we're have we going to just take advantage of this. We're going to sit here, try to get some more damage off. Um, and once it, once it looks like uh, we're definitely going to win this, we're going to push up. Um, you know, take a risk at maybe possibly getting a hit. If they've been pushed back, uh, there's a good chance I won't be getting spotted. And again, the object two, uh, the object seven seven seven, um, pulls back a little bit too far, and we managed to get a side shot into him again. Uh, yeah, unlucky for him. We're gonna get we spotted it up again, but uh, we bounce a shell. He has still got a light tank in the game. Obviously, quite a few light tanks in the game at the moment. And we put another shell into this guy. We put. Unfortunately, he does not get uh, taken out by any of our guys, which is a bit annoying. Um, I'm surprised he keeps pulling back enough for us to sh actually shoot him again. Um, obviously, uh, there we see that light tank 
So I'm pretty much full health, unfortunately. Uh, and that is the major issue. We've got one of our light tanks taken out. So we've now only got one light tank left. They've only got one light tank tank left. Well, we tried to take that shot, but yeah, it was very unlikely to hit. Old pen and anything. Uh, but we try it anyway. Um, yeah, we're just going to sit here now. Uh, mm. Wind's picking up. We've still got this storm going on in the, in the UK. Um, and this light tank is taken bit by surprise by us there. And he's trying to go around us um, and take out... Looks like he's just going for the artillery, which could make all the difference here. Uh, we're trying to get unspotted, um, and, they, and then we're going to go and push. We're going to push for the slight tank. We're still on full health, uh, which is very nice. We, we're we not too bothered with the, uh, if he takes out the artillery. Um, obviously, that would be bad for us, but at the same time, I hate artillery. And he gets taken out. We're going to try to sit on this hill while we're still spotted to try to avoid artillery. Um... Yeah, we got over four thousand combined damage now, which isn't which isn't bad. You know, nothing to sniff at, that's for sure. Uh, but there's still some damage to be put out there. Um, we got three uh, mediums on our team: a heavy and a TD and artillery. The enemy team has a heavy, a medium, a TD, and two artilleries. Um. Which, of course, we know can ruin a, ruin a game. We bounce, and I think it's the 277 that we've been repeatedly hitting. He is still alive. Uh, quite annoying. Uh, and now the teams are equal again. Trying to, at this point, trying to uh, avoid artillery. It's the only thing stopping me from killing that guy. Um, it, that guy, and then we realized that one artillery did go for us there. Uh, luckily, he missed completely. Um, so we're going for the Hesh uh, premium rounds. Because uh, we're th uh, guessing that uh, guy's going to probably stay hold down if he can help a bit. Uh, so we're going to try to just put it. Yeah, and there we go. He gets finished anyway by the um, heavy tank. Uh, just kind of waiting for the artillery to go for me. Uh, and then we're gonna go. We're gonna go for it. We are still getting some real bad server lag at the moment, which is yeah, not not fun either. Um, which can lead to extra frustration in this game, which is never good. Um, it's gonna be very a very frustrating game. Um, so we're gonna push on this hill. We got the majority of our team going the other direction. So. Hopefully, they will not be expecting me to come from this direction. Um, so hopefully, this Hesh round will go back into the back end of one of these tanks and hopefully do uh, as much damage as we can. Uh, and then we get... Uh, Unfortunately, that Hesh round uh, didn't really do much. Unfortunately, it was side on. Uh, this guy, this TD is looking the other direction. We just need to put one more shell into that guy and he's dead. Uh, we're still not taking any damage. Um, and that medium has been taken out. The, uh, artil one of the artilleries um, misses. We're going to go behind this rock. He's probably still going to be concentrating on that heavy and stuff. Uh, and there he is. He, he's now looking at us, but too slow. Too slow. We managed to take him out. Uh, now we just have to dodge artillery fire. So we're going to go the long way around. Um, trying to predict their gunfire. We've got Hesh back in now. Uh, trying to get as much damage as we can before the end of the game. Take him out. There we go. Nice, lovely shot. And then we realised there's an artillery right behind us. I didn't even know he was there. Uh, and he, of course, puts a massive shell into us. About 800 damage. There you go. So 
we got six and a half thousand combined there. That's not bad. That's not bad. But um, and we got four kills as well, so that's nice. Um, obviously, first class Spucucci's and High Galiba. Obviously, the best uh, result you can get is artillery medal for killing them. And we are in the M60. And I got this quite a long time ago. And I have not uh, even, well, like I said, don't play tier 10s enough. But I, I've hardly played this tank at all. Um, they, I got this at this kind of period where they were giving away a lot of uh, or making a lot of the uh, American medium tier tens, and they're all kind of similar. Um, and when you got the pattern M48, is it pattern? Uh, which is probably the best out of the lot. This guy goes, yeah, straight in the middle of the map. Uh, no idea why. Of course, he's going to pen me on the move. Uh, I pen twice, and he's. Now it's going. Actually, this isn't a good idea. Trying to track him. Uh, not happening. Um, put another lovely shell into him. We're quite well angled for that shot there. Um, bit annoying. Bit annoying. That guy got away with that, really. Uh, oh, he obviously didn't get away with it unscathed. He got a massive taken out. But. Our team is well spread out. Unfortunately, the enemy team is going uh, full force up the 3-4 um, line uh, with its heavies, um, which could mean we might lose. Um, yeah, like I said, we've still got this storm going on in the UK. Um, we haven't lost power yet, but there's still a chance we might lose power. So obviously he's going to try to get this video out as soon as I can uh, before that happens. And obviously uh, there's no point in me playing any uh, online games today, just in case the power goes out. I don't want that to ruin any matches. Although I could possibly play, play some Battlefield. I'm not too bothered about getting disconnected from like, partway through a Battlefield game. Um, but uh, I'll probably do a review review uh, video of um, of uh, Battlefield in the near future. Um, oh, that guy trying to kind of like side scrape or show as little of his tank as he could, uh, and unfortunately showed a bit too much while he was reversing. Uh, just kind of like trying to bait this guy into making a bad shot um yeah if we can keep a tier 10 here you know and as you can see we are now a tank behind there's two artilleries in the game but but in this position that's that's a thun thing is um obviously artillery can't really hit you from this position which is nice and obviously from this position we can hit guys going from uh, the two flanks uh, going to eat either the flanks um, we obviously prevent them from pushing up through the middle and then as soon as I move someone goes right for the middle very annoying very annoying um, but um, destroy that wall to see him but unfortunately he's not so we've lost that flank now we've got to really be careful here two artilleries in the game they can hit us now um and that what is that that the italian tank uh that we put a couple of shots into i think he's pretty annoyed and he's trying to trying to get revenge um we're trying to get spotting uh spotting up the enemy here uh, it'd be very helpful for our team at this point uh although they seem to be concentrating i don't know how that shot went in to be honest um, looks like I was pretty good uh, behind that hill. I was a bit annoyed by that shot, to be honest. Uh, especially at the first point in the match. Realise I've gone uh, reversing a bit too high up on that ridge. Uh, we're trying to protect our, um, our, our, our um, artillery at this point, because they could be crucial. Uh, we dodged a nice shot from that guy. He was obviously going straight into the artillery until he uh, was getting shot in the side. So we, we have done a good good thing there. Um, 
And artillery comes raining in, but I don't think it was aimed at me. It was aimed at this guy next to me. He's got two marks on his tank, so he's a decent player, right? Uh, we get a tiny bit of our health knocked off. We're going to really probably not be able to get through the, uh, the front armor of that tank with uh, our normal rounds. So we load heat. Uh, we should be able to get shot in. This guy shows us his side. We put him out of our misery. Um, and then we move back to the other flank. So these guys seem to have got it covered. Uh, this medium, don't know what he was thinking. He's gone straight in to try to kill the enemy artillery. Uh, he's been attacked by a heavy and a TD. Uh, but he does put out one and kill one of the artillery, which is very nice of him. Um, a worthy, probably a worthy sacrifice if you manage to get out both the t uh, enemy artillery but he doesn't do it unfortunately uh we can see that td has got full health we are going to actually push this uh push ourselves up here along here uh try to get side shots on um this guy is pushing our team and he's pretty much almost dead um looks like they got this kind of flank quite well sewn up um I am kind of waiting for this uh, TD to come up because he's bound to come up right now. He's got nothing to do back there. Uh, you can see the majority of our team is spotted up and it's spotted up on the uh, AB90 line. So he's not going to be able to do anything from there. Uh, <laughs> we finally take out a standard beat. Sorry there. Uh, we get spotted up like almost immediately and this... I managed to put a shell into him. Um... I'm really worried about getting hit by artillery at this point, but we're in such a good position here. Um, it's, yeah, it's a bit annoying uh, that we could get taken out by artillery. This guy, we managed to put in, in his armor is not holding up against even my standard round, so we're just, he pushed himself out too far out into the middle uh, of the map here. And we put them out of our misery as well. So there's just three guys left. Um, there's a heavy right next to us there. And he's on very, very little health. Uh, and another heavy at, at our base. Uh, hopefully our heavy and our two artillery there should be able to take that guy out. Uh, so we're going to try to get in behind this heavy tank. Uh, the uh, heavy tank on our flank and kill the last artillery. Uh, e that E6 gets in behind him. I realise I was just about to go in the cap. Don't want to be alerting the uh, artillery to our to our presence unless we have to. Uh, and looks like I didn't realise, but he just fired. Um, I was actually didn't know he had just fired. And unfortunately, I think he just took out. There we go. He took out one of our artilleries and our heavy with the same shot. So we got about 5,000 combined. Um, quite a fun match. I was kind of look, trying to look and see how many um, hit points I was... Uh, hit points... Uh, how many kills I was on. Um, I was thinking at this point, I'm not going to get back in time. This E6 is going to kill him. Uh, got heat loaded, ready for him. But... Um, this guy's platooned up, um, so I was hoping to get a side shot into this guy. This guy obviously knew what direction I was coming in, because he's coming straight for me. And he comes on, and doesn't even realise I was there until it was too late. So I'd taken him out of the game. Um, so not a bad game, it's quite a fun game, that one. Uh, we came first with five kills, uh, and just over 5,000 damage, so it was a good game. Got first class quite a low first class for a tier 10 but um i'll definitely take it when it when i get get it and i'll see you in the next match guys all right last game not a particularly high damage game but a, a a crucial game uh we did some crucial plays um it's really helped our team um yeah so i'm in my uh tier 10 light, american light tank the Boring named XM551. This guy just not list looking at where he's going at all. Bit annoyed by that. 
didn't want to move either. You know, obviously I want to be spotting the enemy team up to see kind of where they're going so our team can help. I then go and do flip my tank. <laughs> so uh, I start off this game very, very annoyed. Um, so not the best start. Um, I make more mistakes when I'm, I am cross, so... <sighs> Definitely not a good start. And then this guy comes up. Uh, so this is the place that I want to be playing with. Spotting up, not getting spotted. But this mouse is going to just draw attention to this area, unwanted attention. Um, now this area is quite hard to get a shot on someone. We managed because there's loads of dips, trenches, you know, uh, hills you can bounce off. And we managed to hit him as he was going over a hill. That was quite good. Um, uh, and we get spotted, so we're going to pull back. Um, we don't want to be. Um, it's two artillery in the game as well, so we don't want to be getting hit by artillery. Even getting splashed by one of those things. It's not going to be fun for me and my light tank. Um, but we're going to sit here and try to get a kind of gauge on where the enemy's going to go and what's happening. And I must admit, I play it a bit too safe, to be honest, at the beginning of this match. It isn't until later that I actually go, actually, I need to really pull my finger out. But then we go and kill a light tank. Um, so we make a... Obviously, he was on very low hit points, but... Um, a light tank with any hit points is still dangerous. Um, as I will testify myself, because I've had those games where I've lost most of my hit points at the beginning of the match. And been like, oh, wow, it's game over. And then I've just had a really epic game, um, you know, where I get a lot of hit, a lot of damage out, and some crucial plays, because uh, I'm playing just that extra bit safe. Um but like I said, I am actually playing a bit too safe uh, right now. I could be doing a bit more for my team, not doing any spotting. Um, which is weird, because I am probably, on this flank, I'm still uh, a tank that's a... Um, well, I should be spotting things up, really. I, you know, I should have better uh, view range than anyone on this flank, but uh, and I'm actually head. But um, I'm not getting. Of course, massive hit into me. Took damage my ammo. Uh, I'm just trying to get out of dodge now. Because it's just not going well for me. I'm getting out spotted. I'm getting out spotted uh, by my own team and the enemy team. And it's just like uh, this is not really working. Um, I must admit, um, I do find this particular map kind of hard. Uh, in my light tank. I haven't really found optimum positions. Um, on the... on the Spawning on the other flank, you know, I don't actually have much trouble. It's just this particular flank, uh, this spawn point is uh, a bit more tricky uh, to find a good position uh, and stay protected on myself. So we go over this side of the flank now. It looks like that flank's gone. Uh, or being taken out at least. Uh, so we're going to try to get some view range on that hill, to be honest. Um, and then I decided, actually, maybe we should help our flank on that side. We might better get him behind, take some shots, do some damage. Uh, so we can actually come back. Um, we've still got that mouse is still there, you know. Surprised the artillery hasn't been targeting in it and taking it out. Um, but their push on our uh, flag has actually kind of failed. And we're just wanting to see if any of their tanks are being left out exposed uh, due to that failed push. And there is a tank still in that flank there on his own. Um, Lost this spot there. Kind of unfortunate. Um, as you can see, we are fighting both flanks right now. Put a lovely shot into him. Uh, someone else finishes him off. Uh, you know, not like I said, not a particularly high damage game this. Um, 
But th that doesn't necessarily mean you are not really helping the team, you know? There could be stuff you could be doing to harass the enemy, keep them in in place. So never, never think you can never do anything in a game. Uh, you know, obviously, bottom tier, you're going to struggle to do anything uh, these days, especially against uh, tanks that are two tiers higher, uh, heavy tanks, because you won't be able to pen them or anything. Uh, but there are still things you can do. Like I, like I said, I'm, I haven't got a big gun in this game. Uh, it's hard to get around people on this map because there's so many ridges, so many bumps. You could easily flip your tank, do damage to yourself, uh, and obviously get in over this kind of where the map, uh, the enemy has got um, good eyesight and good firing line of pretty much most of the map. And there's bound to be people on that on that hill there that they usually said to stay on. Uh, but we put quickly put out guy out of this misery and then we lovely put out um, a side shot into this guy because he had his uh, damage engine or fuel tank rather uh, we put another shell in uh, just after someone else put a shell into him and set him on fire and finish him off that way so we're getting uh, we've got a few kills now uh, we've just got out, only just over 2000 combined so we're not getting like uh, we're still not getting major damage in um, but we are getting those kills. We're taking uh, taking guns out of the game, uh, and that's obviously very important. Um, uh, we come up to support this guy. Uh, probably not a good idea. We're getting targeted by something in the back there, um, and we're just going to push up a little bit over here. See if we can get a bit of flanking shock. See if we can get some view range on that hill. Yeah, and there we go. That's that's kind of an... We get hit by this guy as well. He pushes me, and he pushes me, and he didn't get punished for it, which is quite annoying. Um, he, he gets hit there, but it wasn't because he uh, pushed up too hard. Artillery managed to put a shell into him. We're kind of sitting here, just kind of trying to keep him spotted. Uh, we've got two guys on our, our on their way to support. Um, now I'm guessing the enemy will expect me to come from this way, uh, but he just got a massive hit into him uh, by artillery. So all we need to do is put one more shot into the guy, and there we go. We're already being spotted uh, and aimed at by someone. So we're going to just kind of like try to dodge incoming fire before going unspotted and then try to spot up the enemy for our team because there's still two artillery in the game. Now, we're guessing it are probably spotted by a medium, right? It's still tier 10 medium in the game. Um, I mean, he it's unlikely, but he could possibly if he's got... A good crew i mean this crew isn't maxed out that's for sure i think i've got four or five crew skills in it uh so this isn't a maxed out tank you know um so possibly if he's got good camo uh good view range uh skills uh he could out spot us and take us down one by one so we've got to be careful um obviously this is kind of where the artillery is uh, we're not being spotted, so I'm guessing the the medium isn't around here. Um, our guy goes straight into the cap and gets tells everyone where he uh, where we are. Uh, yeah, there he is. He's on ho health. Let's just put him out. Take him out there quickly. Um, well, where is this other TD? That's what we want to know, right? And there he is. There he is. He sees me. We take a gamble and realize we got get a shot into him before it's too late. We realize that the medium is actually on the other side of the map and he's actually taking out our artillery. Um, bit annoying. There we go. Got about almost almost three and a half thousand. I was thinking about going into the cap to cap out, and then I was like, actually no. There's only one guy left. This guy is in our cap already. Um, you know, so let's try to take out this medium. Now, obviously, I'm thinking, 
Come on, guys. All right, you, you, I'd go. Oh, they're they're just in there to make sure that enemy medium doesn't um, doesn't uh, try to cap us out. Because there is a chance that obviously I try to get back and I accidentally kill myself, or I try to get back uh, to decap it. Uh, and somehow I bounce my shots and he manages to pen all his and he finishes me, finishes me off and they can't get to um, the cap in time. But it seems unlikely. So obviously I'm going up this way. I'm thinking he might turn around and come back the way he came. I'm trying to now push up to the middle to try to get both flanks spotted uh, if possible. And then I see him. He's coming over and then I realize, oh, wow, okay. No, we capped out. Mm. Okay, guys. Well done. Anyway, we we still had fun. Uh, we did still made a massive contribution to the game because we actually got seven kills there, guys. Anyway, I hope you liked the video, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.